Hey, what's going on guys? Booster Whips here. I wanted to go ahead and do a, a nice quick video. Got a nice surprise for you guys. That's right guys. The K-Tuner V2 is finally on deck. So we're going to go ahead and be installing this. I'm going to show you the quick steps on how to install it. Uh, I'm not going to be showing anything crazy, but I wanted to bring you in into my excitement. So I couldn't wait. As you can see, it's already getting a little dark here. But I want to go ahead and flash the car, show you basically how everything, the process gets done. And then uh, we'll start enjoying, you know, video after video of, uh, of different runs, 0 to 60s, whatnot, and uh, throttle responses uh, with stock versus uh, stage 2 tune. That's what I'm going for. I might kick off with a stage 1 first and then, you know, work with a stage 2. But uh, based on K-Tuner support, uh, the... Um, stage two should be not a problem so um, from the box you're gonna have two cables one of them is gonna go to the k-tuner and to the ECU and then the other one is to go from the k-tuner to your PC so that you can load the tunes in the box you basically get a nice little welcome card you know thanks for being the k-tuner family you get two decals one in black and then the other one in white so pretty neat. Might use the white one. That way it matches all the entire theme that I have. And last but not least, we have the mount in our box. We have a nice mount here. It's very solid and heavy, I want to say. So I'm hoping that the mount that I got for the vent holds, um, but. It's a really nice little unit here so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started all right guys so this is the connection you're gonna be connecting to the ODB2 uh, sensor of the car in the bottom and the connector which is located on below this area it's hard to get on there with the camera right now being dark but it's basically there's gonna be a white connector you'll go ahead and you connect this and there it only goes one orientation which basically is gonna go with this clip facing um, the pedals or whatnot you know go ahead and connect it and then we'll connect the other side to the k tuner to go ahead and marry it so uh we're gonna go ahead and do that now all right so we're gonna go ahead and take this connection it only goes in one way so just gotta make sure you align everything perfectly and there it is so now it's on all we have to do is go ahead and marry it i'm gonna go ahead and show you that basically you lock this unit to your uh, ECU and that way nobody else can use it only but you um, so we'll go ahead and do that process and then we'll go ahead and work on the software part and uh, we'll go ahead and take it from there all right guys so what you got to do is go ahead and you put your ignition on accessory mode uh, basically you press the engine button twice without putting your foot on the pedal this will come on because basically it hasn't been mapped yet so we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And here's where it asks, would you like to lock to this ECU? We're going to go ahead and select Yes. And now we have locked it, and it's going to go ahead and restart. So we're going to go ahead and say OK. So with this, basically, the K-Tuner has been married to your ECU now. And then all we have to do is go ahead and sideload the uh, tunes, um, which I'll show you on the computer and uh, we'll go ahead and finalize that and then I'll show you you know how the process is and the flash and whatnot so we'll go ahead and take it from here and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up alright guys so now we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, USB um, into the unit you don't need to have the unit in the car um, and we're gonna basically connect this where it goes so we're gonna go ahead and connect it okay and the other area we're going to go ahead and connect it to the laptop or your computer or whatnot and there it gets detected 
So what you want to do before all this is go ahead and download the KTuner software. I already have it loaded and installed. You also want to install the drivers, which is all part of the process. I'm not going to go through that. You guys can go ahead and look at the uh, setup sequence um, online by KTuner, but it's very simple. Just follow the prompts. Once you install it, you install the correct drivers and uh, for your platform for Windows and the uh, and this is the V2 driver. So we'll go ahead. You will go ahead and install that once you connect the device. Everything is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now the um, software once it's opened up and how do we sideload the uh, tunes alright guys so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and you double click on the K tuner uh, software that's gonna open up you have to go ahead and agree to the license agreement And we have to go ahead and you have to create an account. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create my own account. And we'll go ahead and click on register once we're done. All right, guys, if you notice down here um, on the previous clip, you saw that it was kind of like red with a message. It basically couldn't detect the K tuner. So all you have to do is go ahead and unplug and plug it back in until it's green like this until it says K tuner flash detected. So once you enter in your email, you want to register your name and the password you choose. We're going to go ahead and hit register. We'll go ahead and wait a few moments. And by the way, guys, all these pictures you're seeing on my Alienware desktop is my previous build, which is an EcoBoost Mustang. I have not updated my uh, desktop here with my Accord so just in case you're wondering it's just a side note all right we'll go ahead and wait for this I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video once this is done I'll show you what the next screen looks like all right, so this is how it looks like. It's going to say exchange complete. Um, by the way, guys, you know, if you see that it's not happening, it takes about a few minutes. Um, that's why I didn't want to show it off on the video, but it takes a while. Um, and even after it says exchange complete, until you don't get this message right here, which says your license file has been updated, close the account window to get started. Um, prompt comes up. That's when, you know, everything has gone through. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. Um, and then basically it's going to try to update the version of the KTuner software. Um, so we're going to have to go to the downloads page of the website. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to download the updated software. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and we'll go ahead and proceed. All right, guys. So once uh, you're in there, you updated the software from the website. Um, it's telling you to go ahead and sync your account by hitting the update. Um, on the account window. Um, it also allows you to go ahead and do it from this window. So we're going to go ahead and say yes. And uh, we're going to click on update. This is so that it basically, you know, syncs with the server with your account again and the software and whatnot. So once we do that, we just got to wait until we get the prompt again. And uh, we'll be ready to sideload. So I'm going to go ahead and wait on this, and then once the new window comes up, I'll go ahead and I'll show you what's the next step. All right, guys, once everything is done, uh, this is how you load the tune. You're going to go to um, File, New Tune, and here in this window, it should recognize the model that you have. If it does not, what you need to do is connect the computer and connect the, um, the K-Tuner as well to your ECU in your car and then also to your computer both connections and uh, basically do the pairing one more time and make sure that it recognizes the correct car as you guys know I have the Accord 1.5T so this is basically um, how you would um, do the next step so basically just make sure that it actually detects everything um, because this is how it's gonna back up the factory ECU and then you're able to sideload the uh, new stage 1 or stage 2 tunes from K tuner to your car or to the device. So once you're done there, you go and you hit next. 
And these are the different um, bass tunes that are on the uh, K-Tuner. And you can basically, you know, load the one that you like. So the one that I'm going to be doing is Stage 2 Dual, dual Target 2. Um, just because this allows me to be on Stage 1 on Eco Mode. And then Stage 2 on the other modes, whether it's Normal or Sport Mode. So um, that's the one I'm going to pick. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. You can also load each one. I believe you have about 10 slots in there. Um, but there's about, you know, one, two, three, four, five settings here that you can side load. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. And this is basically how the tune looks like. Once you have this here, you're going to go to um, tuning and go to upload tune. Gives you a warning there make sure that your battery you know that you have enough battery in your laptop and whatnot just go ahead and say yes and then here you're gonna enter the title so that way you know what tune you have on the K tuner so you can name it however you want um, I'm gonna put um, stage 2 2.1 just so that I know that it's also stage 2 and a in a stage 1 as well and then you're gonna click on the slot that you want to load this in whether it be uh, one two, three, four, five slots. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and you pick number one. And this should load basically the the um, the tune into your K-Tuner device. You don't want to click on flash now to flash directly to the ECU um, just because it's not recommended for you to, you know, basically have two equipments in between. Basically, it's going to go from the computer to the K-Tuner, from the K-Tuner to your ECU. So you don't want that. So you want to load the tunes directly to your K-Tuner. And then from your K-Tuner, you'll go ahead and you'll flash the vehicle. Um, I had already done this stage, so I'm not going to click. But once you click on here, um, well, went ahead and did it anyway. So <clears throat> it's going to load again, the stage one. But uh, basically, once this is done, it's going to be loaded onto the K-Tuner. And then you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to flash your car. Um, I already flashed my car, so I'm not going to show you the whole process, but I'm going to go ahead and show you basically um, how everything gets loaded onto the car. So we'll take a shot about where you go and you find so you can go ahead and tune your car with stage two or stage one. Um, one side note that I want to go ahead and come across is that it's the car is going to go haywire. All the sensors are going to go off after you know it has fully updated and everything you have to drive the car so that all these sensors and all these warnings on the dashboard go away it's a little scary at the beginning but the more you drive and you power off and power on the car those warnings will start coming off um one of the ones that scared me the most was my transmission as i was driving it wouldn't pass you know uh gear one and uh, that was a little scary thought but i drove a little bit drove it like that on a safe road and then uh, powered off the car, powered it back on about two times, and then all the warnings went away. Basically, your car has to learn everything from the acceleration, the transmission, the timings, um, and all the sensors for the uh, LKS and the acceleration and whatnot. So um, there it is, guys. It's already loaded. I'm going to go ahead and show you that other stage on how do you load it on the car, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up. And then, you know, the other videos that I'm going to be doing is basically comparison between stage one and stage two, um, whether it be zero to 60 or acceleration. So this one is just for the installation, just to show you guys basically how do you do everything. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to go ahead and hit to the next stage. All right, guys. So what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and connect the ECU connector. Um, I routed mine through the steering wheel or right below it. There's a little section there. Um, and then I routed the excess cable on the side footwell um, panel that's on the left hand side and everything got tucked in there so it looks nicely so what you want to do is put your car in accessory mode you're going to press the uh, engine power start button twice to put it in accessory mode once you're on here you're going to tap on the screen you're going to go to the cake tuner uh, logo there on the top left and here is you will see where it says flash so you have your factory and then you have your stage uh, 2.1 uh, that I loaded so you're basically going to go ahead and you press on that. And it's going to ask, are you sure you want to flash this tune? You're going to go ahead and say yes, and it's going to start. Um, it should take about, you know, anywhere between 10, 15 minutes or less. And then once everything is done, uh, basically all your sensors are going to go haywire. Um, I didn't, 
you know, at the time that I was filming this, I didn't have enough time. It was getting really dark. So I went ahead and I did the, the tune myself. But that's basically what you're going to expect. Um, again, guys, all the sensors are going to go off, you know, very crazy. Don't be afraid. Don't get scared. Everything is going to go off. Everything on the, la on the dashboard is going to look like Christmas lights. Um, but it's normal. And uh, no need to go uh, crazy about this. And then... Um, I will go ahead and do different videos of the different layout that's on here and different settings that's on the K-Tuner. We'll go ahead and do a few runs. We're also going to do some 0-60 to 60 and uh, we'll go ahead and take it from there. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and, uh, and finalize this. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys a lot. Until next time, once again, like, share, and subscribe. Boost the Whips, I'm out. Have a very blessed day.